So Andy, welcome to the new season. Yeah, um, obviously when you come in um, and the, so the team's sort of down there, sometimes it's about results, so you have to prepare for each game. So it's it's hard to sort of uh, imprint a, a full philosophy, if you like, um, on the team because it's results based. So you've got to do um, what's required for that game to get that three points because you're under pressure, obviously. Um, but there was some sort of like um, elements or some principles what will continue from uh, last season, especially out of possession um, in terms of the organisation or, or the pressing. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's a great chance in pre-season to add to that in terms of how we're going to play, um, if you like, our DNA, um, what Nuni and Borough look like in possession and out of possession and in transition. So I'm looking forward to sort of uh, working with the team and the staff um, to implement that um, so that the, the players understand their roles and responsibilities. Um, to the best, the best of their ability, which will help the team. So that's some as obviously as a from the coaching side, that's that really engages them because that's sort of like um, what you look forward to or what you judged on is how the team play um, and what they do is you have a you have a big pot to play in that um, as well as the players. And of course, when you come in last season, we were in the midst of a relegation battle. We've got a clean slate now, so of course this philosophy is going to be, I'm guessing, aiming for promotion. Um, you know, I can put it now. So have you. We've got a we've got a good group of players in, and we've got some really good staff in the building. Um, for me, it, it's about sort of taking one game at a time. Um, the philosophy of how we play in pre-season, in terms of the conditioning of the lads, um, implementing, like I said, the, what we want um, from the lads in possession, what we want from the lads out of possession, uh, making sure that we get minutes into the players. For me, it's about sort of stages and, and getting past that stage first. And as we go into the season, obviously then, like I said, for me, it's about one game at a time. Um, and then you sort of evaluate um, the seasons probably in three blocks and, and see where you're at and then set your objectives and targets um, around that. But first of all, uh, have a good pre-season. Um, make sure the lads, are, the conditioning's right and they're, they're physically fit and athletic, um, ready for the demands of, the, of, of step three. Um, and then implement their playing philosophy um, in terms of nailing down roles and responsibilities precisely. Um, of what we want from them. That, that's the sort of objective at the moment and, and then sort of we know sort of inside what we, we want to do ourselves and our own targets. And you touched on pre-season slightly there, we've got games obviously against Doncaster and then teams more local like Aberston. How do you feel it, how important do you feel it is to have games against sides from different levels? Yeah, um, I, I think like the, good, the good thing when I play teams in pre-season from a higher level is it, it, it highlights sort of what you need tweaking, what you need to work on because obviously uh, players from a better standard or a higher league or full-time teams if you like not even better players but because they're full-time sort of they're working every day what they do is they expose your weaknesses if that's if that's physically they expose it if that's tactically they expose it or technically or, or whatever you're struggling with so it's really really good um, to play teams from from higher level and then at the same time is sort of um, playing teams sort of uh, from from a lower level you're going to get that in the FA Cup possibly early round so let them teams come and they, they want to sort of take take a scalp if you like so you have to be prepared for that sort of battle or that team might, what might be in a low block um, so it, it, the, the different tests what you have prepare you for the for the season of what you might face um, it might be an FA Cup game where you're facing a team from higher so they're good challenges to have and also for, for the players as well they want to be playing against we've got some young players um, in, in the squad they want to be playing and putting themselves against uh, players from a higher level as well so so sort of um, they'll be sort of chomping at the bit if you like and, and for the fans you know Stockport are going to come down here um, and I've seen some videos of Stockport last time they was down here with big crowds and it's it's a good one for the fans to see and, and for the community around as well to have them games like Doncaster West Brom and, and, and teams like Stockport and we've mentioned the new signings uh, did you and Jimmy have sort of a game plan when you went into adding these new additions yeah so um, I, I sat down obviously with Jimmy and, and some of the other members of the staff and said how we're going to play is really important. Um, for me, how, how you work in terms of how the culture that you bring to a football club um, and how you treat um, each individual, that's vital. Um, so you need to build that culture at the football club and, and everyone's as important as each other from media team, the secretary, the physio, manager, head coach, the players. So for me, the culture is really important. And then how we're going to play in terms of what formation we're going to play, um, what sort of ingredients we're going to need for that formation. And they were specifically targeted the day after the Russian game. Um, me, me and Jimmy have been working like tirelessly, um, as well as the other staff, to identify what players would suit the way we want to play. Um, and that's how players were targeted this year um, in terms of the off-season. And, and what we did is, is the day after, 
um, players what was possibly available or, or a week after and we highlighted them and then and then we went and, and sort of had some communication with them players and had meetings with players um, and, and sort of then sort of explain to them how we're going to play and how they they fit the way what we're looking to do and and players was really impressed by that that they knew it wasn't just signing uh, names if you like it was signing specific players for um, our philosophy so that's the recruitment side of it's been really really good and that's for the testament to the hard work which is behind the scenes which people don't see like staying around here till late at night um, 11 o'clock or past 11 um, you know secretaries being here late at night managers being here board members etc so that graph behind the scenes that's just a continuation of what was um, happened at the end of the last season so that's that's brilliant and we've got some we've got the majority of the targets that we went for um, so we're really happy with the um, the business that we've done in off season um, and we're looking forward to getting them on the pitch in pre-season well Andy thank you for your time and all the best for the new season no worries cheers